My name is John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata, and welcome to another MetPy Monday. On this week's MetPy Monday, we're going to talk about how to make a basic base map using the Python package CartaPy. As scientists, making maps is a large part of what we do. It's a way to view a massive amount of information in a geo-referenced way. And as meteorologists, we look at maps all the time. So learning how to make a basic map that you can plot your own data on, even surface plots or contour plots, that's a really important skill. So to get started, I'm going to be working in Jupyter Notebooks and using the Unidata Workshop Python environment. So if you need a refresher on that, go back and check out our earlier MetPy Monday on setting up and using Conda environments. So I'm going to open up a terminal and navigate to wherever you want your MetPy Monday notebook to live. And then we're going to activate the environment with the command source activate and then the environment name. So Unidata Workshop. And you see that environment has been activated. Now we're going to start up Jupyter Notebooks. Jupyter, knows the spelling, J-U-P-Y-T-E-R, notebook, and press return. The notebook server is started, and we're now in that directory, wherever we were at the terminal. And you see there are no files in there. I'm going to go ahead and go up here to New and create a new Python 3 notebook. And now we have these cells that we can run Python code in or Markdown or anything else that you wish to put in here. So to get started with, like always, we need to do some imports. First off, we're going to import matplotlib. And we're also going to use the inline magic, which means that figures will not pop up in a separate window, but appear inline in the notebook. We're going to import the Cartapy Coordinate Reference System, or CRS. As the Cartapy Coordinate Reference System, or CCRS. We're also going to import some features from Cartapy. So these are map features, things like country outlines, state outlines, rivers, and so on. Go ahead and run that cell and create a new one, so shift return. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a basic base map here. Like any matplotlib plot, we're going to start out by creating a figure object. I'm going to specify that the size of this is going to be a 10 by 8. We're going to add an axis. In this case, I'm going to just add a subplot, one row, one column, first subplot. That's all pretty standard matplotlib. But then we have to specify a projection since we're doing a map. So this is a little bit different. And we're going to specify the Cartopi coordinate reference system. And in this case, I know that the Lambert conformal projection is available. So we'll use it. And then we just start adding map features that we want. So axis.add feature, and one of the features we might want to add is filling the land. We can also fill the ocean, and coastline. You can also specify matplotlib keyword arguments. So for example, I'm going to add country borders, borders, and I can specify a line style. So say I want those to be dotted. We can add lakes, and I can give those an alpha, so a transparency, make them look a little bit different than the ocean. And finally, I'm going to add rivers. So this would run as is, but it would give us a worldwide map. And let's say that we're interested in looking at the contiguous US. So we need to set the extent of the map. And we do that with a longitude latitude or XY bound. So 120 west to 70 west and 20 to 50 north. 
So if we run that cell, we end up getting this relatively nice base map for such a few lines of code. Now, CartaPy is a product of the UK Met Office. So by default, it doesn't have state borders included, but we can grab the state borders from the Natural Earth dataset. It's worth taking a little bit of time and going to the Natural Earth page, and you can see that you can get data at 1 to 10, 1 to 50, and 1 to 110 meter scales, and they have a lot of different map layers. They have cultural, physical, raster. They're part of organizations that have topo data. So there's a lot of data that you can get out of here, and Cartapi has helpers to let us do that. So I'm going to get state borders. I'm going to call a returned object state borders, Cartapi features, natural earth feature. We give it the category under which it's stored, which in this case, its category is cultural. Then we give it the name, which is the intuitively named admin one state provinces lakes. I'm going to go ahead and line wrap here. We specify the scale. We're going to grab the 50 meter data. And I don't want it to fill in, so we specify no face color. We need to go ahead and add that to our plot. So again, add feature, state borders. I'm going to also make this a dotted line. And I'm going to make the edge color of the line. Then we can just type fig again, because we're still adding to that previous figure. So this adds it to the previous figure, and then fig will display it. So here we have our map with the states drawn in dotted lines. And the last thing I want to show you how to do is work with different projections. If you go to the Cartapi documentation page, they have a list of projections that are supported, and it is relatively extensive. You can see here's Lambert Cylindrical, Conformal, Mercator, Miller, Orthographic, Robinson. Down here, we're going to do a stereographic projection. It shows you what the defaults are. We're going to change the central latitude and central longitude to make sense for a map that is Colorado and the surrounding states. So let's store that projection in a projection variable this time instead of specifying it all when we create the axes. So proj is Cartapi coordinate reference system, and we're going to use the stereographic. Remember, tab completion can save you some typing. So I type a few characters and press tab. And we're going to specify the central longitude of minus 95, central latitude of 35 north. Then we can set up our map again. So we'll make a new figure. In this case, I'm going to make it a 12 by 12. I'm going to add a subplot. And then this time, projection equals our projection variable proj that we stored. I'm going to add a feature. state borders that we saved above. So I'm going to specify a black edge color, but I'll leave the line as a solid line. And we'll go ahead and add the borders feature. Though in this area, it's probably not going to show us anything. But if we went a little further south, we could see country borders. And we'll add grid lines. So these are going to be lines of constant latitude and longitude. Finally, we'll set the extent of the map. 109 west, 100 west, 35 to 42 north. If we run that cell, you see we get a relatively nice map of the area. You can plot on this just like any other matplotlib plot. So I'm going to create a scatter plot with 
105.27 west and 40.01 north being the coordinates. That is Boulder, Colorado, where we're located. Specify the transform, so how we're going to transform that to the map coordinate system. It's from Platte Curie to whatever the map system is. I'm going to use a star marker. I'm going to make it large, so size of 400. And I'm going to color it yellow. Again, we'll show the updated figure. And you see, now we have a star where Unity is located in Boulder, Colorado. Hope you found this useful and that you'll be able to start plotting some of your data using Cartopy. Soon we'll talk about how to add station plots and contour on maps. Until then, we'll see you on the next MetPy Monday.